talk a little bit about process development. I was reading a book about, I'd say, five or six months ago, and they painted this picture perfectly. They didn't have this little wheel here, and I call this the business process wheel. And, you know, a lot of people, they'll put processes in place but they don't end up, you know, making them better throughout time. They don't end up innovating those. And with the business process wheel, it's a constant repetition of innovation, quantification, orchestration. So innovation, they talked about the difference between creativity and innovation. And creativity does not have innovation, but innovation has creativity. So it's like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle will never be a square. And innovation is your ability to be creative, but execute. So we always start with innovation. So if we find a little creative tweak that we could do to improve a process, then we make that tweak. But we don't make that tweak if we can't quantify it. If there is no number to measure the improvement on, then we don't make that improvement. So again, innovation, quantification, and orchestration. Orchestration is just your ability to carry it out. So innovation is to come up with an idea, but start executing it, start putting the roadblocks in place that you need. Then quantification is your ability to measure those improvements. And then orchestration is to get all of those improvements company-wide. So you might start with one of your offices improving the sales cycle. And you know, okay, so the innovation would be improve sales cycle with new scripts. So you're gonna improve the sales cycle with new scripts, which that would be innovation. So your quantification would be, what are your current scripts closing right now? So, so your current closing ratios. And yeah, so we'll just leave it at that just so that way I can keep it as simple as possible so that way everybody can understand exactly what I'm getting at. And then orchestration would be, okay, so first we put this in place there. We quantified it. Now we need to get this system into our other three offices. So how can we orchestrate this to get all of these, get this new process, new system, inside of these offices. And that's where orchestration comes in. So orchestration is the full plan of ex execution. So we know that the best way to do this is to go one office at a time. Wow, that was bad. So we know one office at a time, so that way we bring it into this office. This office gets everything going extremely well. Then we'll bring it into this office. Again, this office is doing well. And then we'll bring it into that office. And then after this entire thing is implemented and orchestrated, then what we do is we look at other pieces of the process. And then again, we start with one practice we start with the innovation, the orchestra or the quantification, and then the orchestration. And we want to continuously do this throughout the entire just throughout the entire life of your business. Because if you look at Kmart, 
and Toys R Us and just pretty much a lot of those retail stores that have recently gone out of business it's because they quit going after this process they quit letting this wheel run around in a circle and you know maybe they were they were just creative maybe they thought of all these ideas but they never executed on them so you know really look at your numbers and you, you really need to understand those numbers you can't just be like, okay, I'm getting a conversion rate of 3% on my landing page. So I'm going to improve this by 20%. You can't just look at it like that. You really need to, like, one thing we would do to increase conversion rates is we would input a hot jar, which hot jar is a... It's, it pretty much is a mapping system, so that way you know exactly where people are looking on your website, on your landing page, so that way you can really understand like, okay, they're reading this, but they're completely avoiding the right side of the page. Why are they avoiding the right side of the page? What little tweak can I make on the right side of the page to increase the conversion rate by 20%? And you really just need to dig deep in that. And that's, that's why just taking the time and even just setting up an appointment with one of us so that way we can kind of help you put in a little system in place. Or just having us come in, build out your systems, execute your systems, and just help you just continually do this day in and day out. Because this is, this is one thing we love doing. We love being able to look at a process, look at all the numbers, analyze all the data and then turn that data into real improvements that can really increase those numbers dramatically. So again, you have a wonderful rest of your day and never stop, never stop innovating, never stop building your processes, never stop, just, just never stop. Once you stop, you're going to go out of business. I mean, look at all these massive companies that have already gone out of business because they stopped doing this process. Again, have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to providing you guys with some more value.